Hello everyone, we are solving problems on the Thevenin's and Norton's theorem. In that, case 1 problems are completed. Now, we will see case 2. Case 2 means, if network contains at least one independent source and one dependent source. Okay, in the network, both independent source and dependent source must be exist, then we need to apply case 2. So, in this case, how we are, uh, how we are finding the Thevenin voltage and Norton current. First, to find Thevenin voltage, replace load resistance. Okay, this is RL. Load resistance with open circuit. Okay, open this load resistance, then find open circuit voltage. Then, replace load resistance with short circuit and find short circuit current. Then, you will get not on current. From this, R Thevenin is equal to R not on is equal to V Thevenin by I not on. Okay. If you want to find out not on equivalent, you need to find both V Thevenin and not on current. If you want to find out Thevenin equivalent, you need to find both V Thevenin and not on current. Okay. From that, you will get Thevenin, Thevenin resistance or not on resistance. Or to find not on resistance or Thevenin resistance, another method is by external source method. Okay. Open load resistor and apply one voltage let it be v if we apply volt, uh, voltage source with v then the current is i the current flowing through this network is i then r thevenin is equal to r not on is equal to v by i okay in this case you need to replace all ideal voltage source with short circuit all ideal current source with open circuit and do not disturb dependent sources okay all ideal voltage source with short circuit all current source with open circuit and do not disturb dependent sources now we will solve some problems on this concept in that first question is find thevenin equivalent across ab for the following network this is the given network here this Already these two terminals are open circuited. Okay, here Vx is equal to, in this case, Vx is equal to V Thevenin. Here there is a resistor. So, this open circuit voltage becomes, here it is V Thevenin. Okay, because this is open circuit and here there is no voltage source or no current source. So, this open circuit voltage becomes this node voltage. Okay. So current flowing through this branch is 0 because this is open circuit. So I equal to 0 amps. Let it be I naught. I naught equal to 0 amps. Now apply nodal analysis for V Thevenin or write node equation for V Thevenin. What we are getting? So V Thevenin for this branch V Thevenin minus 4 by 2k. This is 2 kilo ohm. 4 4000 means 4k you can write so this current source entering to towards to this node that is current coming towards to this node so minus here vx is v thevenin in this case vx is v thevenin so minus v thevenin by 4k here current is leaving from this node so it is 0 equal to 0 because the value of current is 0 2 v thevenin minus 8 minus v thevenin equal to 0 from this V Thevenin equal to 8 volts. Now, to find R Thevenin, we have two methods. One is external source method and another is short, uh, find short circuit current and R Thevenin equal to V Thevenin by I naught on. Now, first find the naught on current. Okay, for that circuit becomes like this. Here, we replace this open circuit with short circuit that means we short these two terminals AV then what is Vx if it is short circuit the voltage across short circuit is 0 so then Vx is equal to 0 volts Vx equal to 0 because we are replacing this open circuit with short circuit so Vx is 0 In the given problem it is Vx so if we replace this short circuit Vx equal to 0 if it is 0 so this Vx equal to 0 means entire this value is 0. Here this is current source. Current source value is 0. Current source value is 0 means this is open circuit. For suppose it is a voltage source. 
if it is a dependent voltage source if this value is zero then it becomes zero short circuit but here this is current source this value is zero current source value is zero means open circuit if it is open circuit so this is isc no current is flowing through this branch because it is open circuit so this is isc so these two resistors are connected in series so what is isc now isc is equal to 4 by 2k plus 3k so isc means i not on so i not on equal to isc is equal to 0.8 milliamps now what is r not on or r theta n is equal to v theta n by i not on so 8 by 0.8 milliamps so you will get r theta n equal to r not on equal to 10 kilo ohms now method 2 by external source method circuit becomes like this all in all independent voltage source are replaced with short circuit and all independent current source are replaced with open circuit here current source are not given only voltage source is given so we replace voltage source with short circuit and do not disturb the dependent current source or dependent voltage source okay we we kept this as it is if you observe this circuit we connect additional voltage source that is external so, uh, external voltage source across these two terminals okay if we connect this uh, voltage source then current i is flowing through this network so the current i is flowing through this network now r the even is voltage by current so the equivalent is r the even r the even that is voltage by current here the voltage across ab is vx in the given circuit the voltage across ab is gs vx we connect voltage source like this so in this case vx equal to v in this case vx equal to v now apply source transformation here for this apply source transformation then what is the voltage this is current this is current source current source since are in parallel with impedance or resistance then you can apply source transformation and control variable is here okay control variable is not present within the network that means within this loop so you can apply current uh, source transformation by source transformation what is voltage let it be v1 v1 equal to ir so what is current here vx by 4k into this is 2k so you will get vx by 2 v1 equal to vx by 2 then circuit becomes like this okay now what is current current by ohms law current is equal to v minus vx by 2 here vx is v so v by 2 divided by 2k plus 3k now what is i i is equal to v by 10k so what is r theta n r theta n is equal to and r not on is equal to v by i so v by i is equal to 10 kilo then theta n equivalent circuit becomes like this this is theta n equivalent and this is not on equivalent in the next video we will solve some more problems on this concept thank you for watching